Here are three totally useless things that you can cut right now from your social marketing plan. Number one, paying somebody, anybody to update your Facebook page. That is, unless you have a specific plan to make your updates provoke a reaction that is connected to a process, a way to capture sales leads and bring them toward a transaction. Number two, blogging to tell stories. Hey, point blank, engaging stories about your business culture or your personality rarely cause sales. Now, if you want your blog posts, your videos, or your Facebook interactions to actually sell something, they need to create high levels of confidence in buyers. Okay, here's how to make that decision. Are your stories giving blog readers these two things? Number one, a way to fulfill a specific need or desire. And two, something to actually act on. If they aren't, your stories suck because ultimately you won't be able to connect uh, your product or service to the story in a way that earns a sale. Your story won't be a discussion, it'll be a monologue. And number three, YouTube videos that likewise do not tell a story that number one, fulfills a specific need and number two, includes that crucial call to action. Here's the skinny. Your customers probably don't need to know how your product or service actually works or look behind the scenes on YouTube at a video. As much as they need a problem solved or a way to better understand the best fit for their needs. So pull the plug on Facebook, blogs, and videos that don't give customers answers to burning questions or a sample of the experience that they're craving and a way to act on them that creates a lead for you. Now, if you do, you'll be one step closer to making social media sell for you. I'm Jeff Molander.